And there's a new report by the group Botanic Gardens Conservation International projecting a dire forecast for the world's tree population. One in three species is now at risk of becoming extinct with climate change, logging, and even wildfires to blame. So joining us with a deeper dive into this troubling new report is Murphy Westwood, Vice President of Science and Conservation at the Morton Arboretum. Good morning to you and thank you for joining us. So uh, Murphy, the author of the study says it should serve as a wake up call to the world. More than 4,000 species of trees right now at Morton Arboretum. Are any of your trees at risk for extinction? Yes, they are. In fact, I'm speaking to you today from one of our conservation groves, which is where we are growing and cultivating um, over a dozen threatened tree species just right here around me. It's one of the important elements of our science and conservation work that we do here at the Morton Arboretum to understand more about how threatened trees grow and thrive and what we can do to protect them in the future. And I think that's the, Morton, the most important thing that we can discuss this morning is what we can do to protect them in the future because this report also pinpoints that many of these species have the ability to be saved. So what can we do to make that happen? Well, there's a role for tree conservation that almost anybody can play. Um, we at the Morton Arboretum are focused on um, growing these species here, both as an insurance policy against e extinction and also as a way to propagate these species so that we can eventually reintroduce them to the wild. Um, but everybody can play a role in tree conservation. Um, people can be advocates for trees, for spreading the word about the importance of trees and the benefits that they have for the ecosystems that they support. Um, people can volunteer in their local natural protected areas. They can support their local botanic garden or arboretum or a conservation organization that's focused on trees to ensure that we have healthy trees and forests for the future. Well, I'm so glad you mentioned those last words for the future because uh, the, you and Sylvia and I are going to be gone and the world's going to be left to the next generation. What's going on at Morton to ensure that young people out there understand just how vital trees are to our planet? We have lots of different educational opportunities here that we target to even our youngest future tree champions. For example, our Little Trees um, daycare program. Um, we also uh, build the pipeline of tree scientists and tree conservationists through our Center for Tree Science, where we're really trying to build a diverse community of tree science experts through some of our high school and college mentoring programs. And then at the more professional level, we develop these, these extensive reports like the one that was released uh, just recently where we try to provide the information and the expertise for the world's conservation organizations and policymakers to have an impact on tree conservation. Well, we certainly appreciate you joining us this morning. I think this is important for all of us to hear and see what we can do to put the effort in to try to help save some of these trees. Thanks again for joining us this morning. Thank you.